Here with Leonardo Ruiz. Leonardo, you just actually sparred four rounds with Nate Diaz. Yeah, we did he has rounds. a fight. He has a fight coming up yep. against Jake Paul. Highly anticipated bout. A lot of people wanting to see it. Your thoughts after sparring Nate Diaz on what he brings into the boxing world? You know what? Uh, I, um, I didn't spar him on Wednesday. I seen him spar, and uh, he did 12 rounds actually, and uh, he did a uh, 12 rounds straight with uh, Esquiva Falcao. Uh, he's, he's a he's a bigger guy than me, and um, he did he did real good. So I had an opportunity to spar him today, and um, psh, man, I think he's gonna he's gonna beat Jack Paul. Uh, I don't know how many uh, rounds are going, but ten ten rounds. Oh psh, man, I think I think uh, Nate Diaz is gonna whip him, man. Uh, he. He was way more uh, better than I thought when I first seen him. So I already knew uh, when I when I went in there what I was gonna go against. I know uh, he's he has a different style. You know, of course he has an MMA background, but um, but I already knew he was gonna be good. He throws awkward punches and um, he's he's really tricky. He tries to set his traps all the time and um, you know, as a as a student of the game, I like to I like to watch. So uh, I kind of picked up on what he was doing. So I kind of know what I was gonna get get in there with. Talk to us about the pop. Talk to us about how he hit every time he landed. How did it feel? Does he have strength? Is it just trying to keep you off, or what? was it honest enough to keep you off? What was it? Um, he's a bigger guy than me, so of course I felt I felt his power, but um, but he doesn't really load up on shots like that. He kind of he kind of puts his shots more together. Uh, he doesn't load up on shots crazy like that. But he has he has he has a punch, man. He, I feel like he could uh, definitely knock anybody out. So um, yeah, he has he has pop. Now, as you said, he has an awkward style. Yeah. Punches are a little loopy and everything like that. What about that style will confuse Jake Paul? Um, well, the thing is that that Jake Paul, I don't think he he has you know much much experience in in the boxing. Um, so I think when he's gonna come around a fighter like like Jake, I mean um like uh, Nate Diaz, you know, it's it's gonna kind of confuse him. You know, even though he's been fighting MMA fighters, but I feel like um, Nate Diaz's boxing game is a little bit uh, more more superior to, to his firm, former opponents. Uh, do you see what happened when he fought, uh, Ty, uh, what's his name? Tyron Woodley? Uh, no, 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 uh, Tommy Fury. Tommy, Tommy Fury, Fury, yeah. So someone that had uh, some decent boxing skills was able to beat him, but uh, I think I think um, Nate Diaz is, 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 is gonna do good. Now talk about you, talk about actually getting that experience and being in there with a guy like Nate Diaz. You know, it feels good, man. Uh, I was in there with the legend, you know, so it feels good. Um, I, I definitely uh, gained some experience in there, especially with the bigger guy, and uh, you know, it just made me um, more, more, uh, more smart in, in a sense because um, you know you got to be smart in there. You just can't, you know, be in, do, go in there and just be careless with the bigger opponent. When's the next time fans can see you in the ring? Um, right now, I don't have a, a confirmed set date so you know i'm just staying in shape i've been i've been sparring for like the past two months so i'm, I'm definitely in shape i've been in the gym but um, it's looking looking like around august all right anything else you got to say to the fans uh shout out to all my fans everyone that supports me uh thank you for for uh, showing me love and support and um i'll see you guys next time drop the socials uh you can follow me on instagram at underscore leo reese with two o's it'd be underscore l-e-o-o-r-u-i-z thanks man yeah thank you